Blessed day my people, so in today's video we're going to talk about two things in relation to the Vibes Cartel case. Of course you know that today is day one in relation to whether or not Vibes Cartel will be freed or they are going to actually give him a retrial, is it? But may I see an article over upon Nationwide News, which Sir P name actually get calling on the article my people. So apparently them feel like Sir P will cause Vibes Cartel and Sean Storm, Sean Storm them for actually not get a fair trial. You understand my people? So I'm not sure if they are planning to like put out a cease and this is in relation to Sir P, you know? Maybe make him can't report on it. I don't really know my people. I'm going to read the article. Only can tell me when you think about this in the comment section. Separately from that, Zane, we're going to talk about the judge who basically do the whole trial with Vibes Cartel. The judge actually issued a stern warning to all of the media houses them, because you don't know, there's a lot of things which should be kept inside the courthouse and all of them little things them are people. So, you know, it's a, it's a lot of things that's going to be strict in relation to this whole Vibes Cartel case. You understand my people? Because we reach right now a very critical point in relation to Vibes Cartel trial and thing is it. Also, we're going to talk about Cartel Son Little Vibes, who makes it clear that him father definitely couldn't deal with a retrial, my people. Him actually make it clear same father heart can't manage a retrial. Because you don't know the Cartel, they must have some art issue and them things. So, what we'll about it? But before we're going to further into the topics, don't don't forget to for like, share, and subscribe. Also, head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4, but I definitely appreciate it. All right, people, so let's get to this story in relation to Sir P and, of course, Sean Storm, attorney, them where I speak out against a popular blogger or YouTuber. Anyway, this is what the story I say. Sean Storm cites Sir P in affidavit arguing against possibility of a fair trial. Attorneys representing Sean Storm Campbell are attempting to argue their client will unable or will be unable to get a fair retrial. The attorneys have tendered an affidavit on Campbell's behalf, which point to coverage of video blogger Sir P of the popular Politics Watch YouTube channel. The affidavit makes the argument that bloggers with no journalistic training have colored the public perception of the matter. The matter came up in the retrial hearing in the Court of Appeal this morning. Campbell's sister's affidavit says Jamaica's jury system cannot possibly empanel an impartial jury. His family says they also don't have the money to facilitate another trial in what describes an unjust system. Acting Director of Public Prosecutions Claudette Thompson says those are arguments and pleadings and should not be allowed in the affidavits. However, the court did not accept Acting's DPP's objections Justice McDonald Bishop alone Allow the arguments to stand in the affidavits as they are. The judges say they reserve the rights to revisit any preliminary ruling on the DPP's objections. The hearing is continuing at this hour. You see, so at the time I read this story, you don't know the hearing is still going on, but we don't see that for making you know what's going on. Of course, you know a lot of persons I react to it. As a matter of fact, we're gonna take a look at some of the reactions right about now. And only can tell me anything in the comment section as well in relation to Sir P. When I feel like say, Sir P will actually cause the case to not go as planned or, you, you know, him can't affect it then. Just based upon the content we him put out. More want to tell me in the comment section because, of course, we know Sir P have a large fan base and him have a large set of people who rely upon him for content and anything with them and they put out. You see, to Fame Squad, a lot of that, you know. You see it, my people. So if Sir P tell us uh, X, Y, Z, uh, X, Y, Z, they ever make sense to argue with them because they take anything with him say just like that. Anyway, I could actually get to some of the comments I'm right about now, you see. So, um, one person left a comment saying, That man Sir P is obsessed so bad with Cartel and his friend. Somebody said, The little YouTuber, Una Bank Pan, we don't believe you, we need more people. <laughs> Somebody said, Welcome to Politics Watch, this is Sir P. Vibes Brabas is so desperate. I guess this person is kind of mimicking what Sir P would is planning to say then, or maybe I'm going to say as it relates to this whole situation, is it? Anyway, somebody say, Sean Storm did get a plea deal, but turn it down because him did want to go jail with him leader, Judge. Somebody say, where's the no evidence crew? Because if the evidence was weak or non-existent, they would have argued that instead of the blogger boy a call up with name. I hope they pain these lawyers only on their successes cause. 
Why oh boy, somebody says, Serp, you have his trainer followers who worship him like him as some god. He only talk about cartel. This man have a vendetta against Vibes Cartel. People, when you think Serp, you have a vendetta against a cartel, or when you feel like, say, you know, the man just speak it as it is. And obviously, cartel name is very popular. Cartel will obviously give Serp views, even though he get views off of other topic. But you don't know when him talk about cartel, I'll, trust me. Even Gaza fans go over there for EOA, I'm to say. And then, of course, they're going to beat him bad in the comment section or whatever. But let me know anything about this in the comment section, my people. And me just going to leave it right there. Because I'm not really there for try, you know, circumcise the whole thing here. Only you hear it for yourself. All right, so moving on to the next topic now. So the judge in the Vibes Cartel case issue a stern warning to the media houses them. You see, my people. So I could get to that part of the story here. All right. So it's a cartel retrial hearing starts. Judge issues warning to media. Justice Marva McDonald Bishop declared school has started as she warned the media to observe court rules while covering the hearing on whether entertainer Vibes Cartel and three others should face a retrial for murder. The hearing started this morning in the Court of Appeal and is expected to last for five days. McDonald Bishop, along with Justices Paulette Williams and David Fraser, will decide the case. She said the court will not hesitate to take action against persons who breach the rules in providing coverage of the hearing. On our reading of the grand case, I just learned that the court had such wide powers to initiate proceedings on its own to ensure that there is objective and accurate recordings of the proceedings so we do not inflame public opinion that can be prejudicial to the parties in this case, especially the appellants, she said. The judge added, she said the court recognizes person's right to freedom of expression but while you report you cannot comment in any way that would cast any aspiration on the integrity of the court of of the court and the purity of the proceedings justice mcdonald bishop said while we have allowed in this country and in the world at large social media in particular to run while it is the provider of the information who will be held liable for the contempt of court the court is currently confirming the documents filed in the matter before the substantial argument start. The Office of the Director of Public Prosecution is pushing for a retrial while the accused are arguing against it. Among the considerations for a retrial are the availability of witnesses, any prejudice to the accused, the interest of justice, and what is in the public interest. Reference to schooling came recently in a Supreme Court case in which judge said she would school lawyers who applied for a cartel and two of his co-accused to be released. The lawyer Isaac Buchanan first used the term. The court rejected the application on May the 30th. Dan Star Cartel, whose given name is Adija Palmer, Sean, Sean Storm Campbell, Kahira Jones and Andre St. John were charged with the taking out of Clive Lizard Williams in September 2011. Cartel and St. John are being represented by Buchanan, Jones by John Clark and Campbell by Bert Samuels. The four men were convicted in March 2014 for Williams being taken out and sentenced to life in prison a month later. The Court of Appeal upheld their convictions in 2020. However, on March 14, the United, the United Kingdom-based Privy Council, Jamaica's final Court of Appeal, overturned the convictions on the grounds of juror misconduct. It said the trial judge should have dismissed tainted juror Livingston Kane, who was later found guilty of accepting bribe to try to influence the panel. However, the Privy Council did not free the men. It ordered that the Court of Appeal should decide whether there should be a retrial. Cartel and his co-accused have denied any involvement in the lizard situation, is it? Anyway, my people, let me know anything about that. I'm going to be honest with you, you know. I'm actually glad with them, I do. You understand? So that certain things won't be put out there and it, it won't be interpreted in another way. I'm honestly glad for this because really and truly, can't tell them deserve a fair trial. You understand what I'm saying? At the end of the day, after all is said and done, we know what you say, boy, this and that cause, this and that for happen. So I think this is definitely a good thing, but that's just my personal opinion, is it? Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section, is it? So the next thing I'm going to talk about is Little Vibes making it be known that him father cartel can't him heart, can't manage another retrial or can't manage a retrial, I should have said my bad. Anyway, I could get to that story here. So it's a Little Vibes, my father's heart wouldn't survive a retrial. The Court of Appeal has struck out arguments from Vibes cartel family claiming the popular entertainer cannot stand a retrial on health grounds. The arguments were filed in an affidavit. Cartel attorney submitted an affidavit from the entertainer's son 
Little Vibes saying cartel is sick. Little Vibes, whose given name is Adija Jaim Palmer, tried to make the case in the affidavit that his father's incarceration has had a negative effect on his family. The younger Palmer said his grandmother, cartel mother Theresa Wilson Palmer, prays every night for her son. But Justice McDonald Bishop struck out the argument, saying the younger Palmer couldn't have been there every night to witness the prayers. <laughs> Cyrus. <laughs> oh boy, the judge ain't easy, you know. She ruled the argument amounted to hearsay. Justice McDonald Bishop also struck out the claim that Cartel Hart could not sustain a retrial. The presiding judge reason Adija Jaim Palmer isn't in a position to definitively speak to that claim. Yes, it. So I guess maybe if, 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 what them for do then? What would I say? Make Cartel himself come out, come talk then. You understand? Because the judge obviously want to hear it from him. Um, she not deal with hearsay. So instead of work off a of hearsay, get the people them who for name a call and make them talk. Make Cartel himself come and tell you whether or not him art can't stand another retrial. You understand me as some people, but um, at the end of the day, little vibes, big up yourself, yeah, man. You see it? You know, little vibes is a humble youth. Cartel sons them, you know, some humble youth, and you know, no cartel miss out a lot out of them life. Not excusing anything that it is alleged the entertainer do. I don't know whether or not cartel do what them same do or not. I wasn't there, but you know, when you miss out on your father in your life, it definitely affects you one way. You see, my people. Um, so. Hopefully some form of justice is served in the sense of, you know, the, the retrial is done in the proper way because obviously the trial itself was not done the right way, which is obviously why the, the, the UK Privy Council quashed the conviction. If it was done in the right order, then this, it, it obviously, you know, this would not happen. No, you understand me as some people. So I think this is also a lesson to the Jamaican justice system who feel like they can do what they want. That's one of the reasons why I feel like we should not get rid of UK Privy Council, you understand? I feel like we need some outer, outer um, justice system for, for govern our justice system, you understand? Even though they're thing for use the, the Caribbean justice, whatever them name. But that's just my personal opinion because if it wasn't for the UK Privy Council, would Cartel, cartel and his co accuse even stand a chance right now? I want to tell me in the comment section. Anyway, that's it, you know, people. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.